Hello, my name is Andrew Stefan and I'm the student of biology class and today I will explain the most intriguing and mysterious disease of the last centuries, the cancer, and whether it can be cured. Humans, like everything in life on the earth, consist of small parts, the cells. Cells are small organisms that have their own life cycle. Normally, during this cycle, cell undergoes numerous divisions. All processes in the cells are controlled by the famous molecules called DNA. DNA consists of genes, and genes consist of smaller parts called nucleotides. To divide into two cells, all the information that is contained in the nucleus should be copied. This process is called DNA replication. And it is quite difficult to copy 3 billion nucleotides in a very short period of time correctly. Because of this, several mistakes occurred during the replication. Scientifically, they are called mutations. Fortunately, the mutation rate during DNA copying is only one mistake per one million nucleotides. Also, all cells have powerful mechanisms of repairing the DNA that delete almost all incorrect parts and insert correct sequences. Mistakes during replication processes are not the only source of mutations. Several external factors such as environmental pollution and bad habits such as smoking can also cause mutations. DNA consists of genes and most of them regulate processes connected with cell life cycle such as cell divisions, DNA replication control, DNA repairing mechanisms and others. Some of these genes activate and promote cell divisions, they are called proto-oncogenes. On the other hand, tumor suppressor genes arrest cell cycle and prohibit further divisions. It could be necessary when too many mutations have accumulated in the DNA and they should be repaired. These genes have opposite effect and act as gas and brake pedals, accelerating and stopping divisions. Mutations can occur in every part of DNA, including these genes. For example, gene that arrests cell division is not working anymore and the cell continues dividing rapidly and unstoppably. This is the case when the cancer occurs. There are a lot of types of cancer because we have a lot of regulatory genes and each of them can mutate in any part of our body. That is the reason why the universal cancer treatment cannot be found. Fortunately, our body has a lot of protective and checking mechanisms including immune system that can recognize cancerous cells and destroy them. But our organism is not perfect, so some of the broken cells succeed to survive, multiply and form a tumor inside of the tissue. For the first month and actually years, it could be unnoticeable, but then there are more and more cells that need more space, and eventually tumor grows bigger and starts spreading in the body. Through the blood vessels it can get to other tissues and organs. This stage of cancer is called malignant and is more difficult to treat. In spite of complexity of developmental mechanisms of this disease, scientists have discovered them and invented several interesting ways of treating the cancer. Common way is to cut the tumor out. Surgery is possible only until the tumor has not become malignant and has not spread in the body. As soon as cancerous cells have spread in the body, it is impossible to get out all the places that they have occupied. There are several ways of solving this problem – chemo and radiotherapy. The purpose of both ways is to negatively influence the cancerous cells and destroy them. The other, newer and very promising way is treating the cancer by using the antibodies against cancerous cells. Broken cells have specific molecules on their surface, which our immune system sometimes fails to recognize. We can put them into the bloodstream where immune system will mark these molecules with antibodies, special proteins. Immune cells will be able to recognize the same specific molecules on the cancerous cells and will kill the tumor. Also, cancerous cells produce special chemicals in the tissue that cause extra blood vessels to grow near the tumor to feed it. These chemicals can be blocked by special medicines, so cancerous cells won't get enough food and eventually will die. Although cancer is very complex and has various types, scientists succeed to find new ways of treating this disease that will combat the cancer virtually at any stage. I hope I will be able to contribute to the cancer research in future myself.